Alright, so ever since I finished my generator bicycle, I've had one video on the back of my mind for quite a while, and it's this one. Uh, it's an older video, it's called the Toaster Challenge, it came out a few years ago. And the basic premise is they get these athletes, and they put them on a bicycle, and there's a toaster, and they try to see if they can power the toaster. And they actually did this a few times, uh, not just this one, they did it with actually three different athletes. Um, but this is the only one that's in English, and this guy is the only one who was actually able to brown the bread. Uh, the other ones, the bread was still looking a bit raw. But you can get the idea. It's a pretty good piece uh, trying to make you think about you know, how much energy do you require versus how much you can actually output as just a single person. So in that sense, it does a, a pretty good job. However, if you watch it back a little bit closer, there's a couple things that don't really add up. So like right here, he stops pedaling, and then the bread pops up. Uh, that's kind of suspicious. You'd think it'd pop up immediately when he stopped pedaling. Also, there's this wide shot here, and you'll notice this rug that goes across the floor. I don't really know why that's there. If this was, you know, really a generator powering the toaster, You'd think you wouldn't need a rug here. Uh, maybe they're trying to hide some kind of wire going off to an external power outlet. But I want to find out how they actually did this, so maybe we can learn something about the people who made it. Alright, we got uh, Project from the Stockholm Academy of Dramatic Arts. Uh, we got a producer, photographer, mechatronics engineers. Alright, let's look up one of them. Okay. How about Toaster? Alright, we got a LinkedIn page. So this guy is a real mechatronics engineer. And ah, Toaster Challenge, okay. Video aimed at spreading awareness about energy consumption. Alright, designed and developed a system which used a microcontroller to power to monitor power output from a training bike. And use a static to control the toaster. Aha! So it is faked. The guy is not actually powering the toaster. And also they don't show you any details about, you know, what kind of generators on the bicycle. They don't have any meters hooked up. I mean, sure, they have these, uh, these little annotations they put on there. Equivalent speed and so forth. But these were all added in post. The bicycle is not electrically powering the toaster. It's uh, it's more of a race. I have no doubt that this guy is actually producing 700 watts of mechanical power, but uh, he's basically racing against the wall power that's actually powering the toaster. And I mean, to be fair, it doesn't need to be legitimate for what this video is trying to accomplish. You know, it's, it's meant to get you thinking. It's an art piece. It's not an engineering piece, which is fine. And actually, there's another video by by this fitness YouTuber, Mike Lewis, who, who tried doing the same thing. And it's the same thing. He just had an assistant turn off the toaster when he quit pedaling. He didn't actually power it either. But I do have a real generator bicycle, so I think I'll try this challenge for myself and see if it really is possible. Now, obviously, there's no way I'm going to compete with an actual Olympic cyclist in cycling. If I could... I wouldn't own a bicycle that looked nearly this bad. On the other hand, this is an actual generator right here. And my secret weapon, I'm going to use my super capacitors. So I can charge these up to 50 volts. That gives about 8, 7, 8 watt hours of power in there. Which means that for a 700 watt toaster, it'd use up all the energy in there in less than a hundredth of an hour, which is like less than a minute. So how I'm gonna try to do this is get a toaster and then continuously charge up and dump the charge into the toaster and hope that all the heat doesn't escape and have it still toast my bread. And also I want to use like an actual toaster, like one that you'd plug into a normal wall outlet and like this one. Now what I could do, I could build a special purpose-built toaster that runs at 50 volts or 30 volts or whatever, but I want to use a real one. And the way I'm going to use a real one is with this inverter. This is actually an old computer UPS that I can connect up right to the capacitor bank. And on the back, you can power ordinary 110 volt North America plugs on there, such as this lamp. 
but if I put the toaster on there, it can't keep up and it'll just trip it off immediately. Now, finding an appropriate toaster has probably proven to be the most difficult part of this entire challenge. And while I have no shortage of toasters around here, all of the ones I have are too powerful to be run continuously by the inverter. Uh, for instance, this white modern looking one here rings it at 950 watts, and my favorite daily driver Toastmaster on the right is 10.5 amps, which at 120 volts gives a staggering 1260 watts. Eventually I did find an actual toaster that's under the limit of this power supply. I won't trip it out immediately, but it's this one, a model probably from the 30s or 40s. And you'll notice it doesn't toast both sides of the bread at the same time. Instead, it just has one central heating element in there. Again, the electronics of toasters have been mostly solved for 100 years. But it is rated at a rather modest 500 watts, AC or DC. So, since it only toasts the middle instead of toasting bread, I'm going to try toasting a bagel but we'll leave the front open just for one cycle so you can see what's going on. It didn't come with a cord, but luckily I have a universal adapter. And with the capacitors already charged to about 50 volts, let's run a cycle and see what we're up against. That's it. So we've got quite a long road ahead of us. But I think we'll try anyway. All right, I finally decided to check on it after 40 minutes, 64 watt hours, at about three and a half minutes a cycle. That's like, what, 10 cycles, 12 cycles, something like that. And that certainly looks toasted. It's slightly warm. It's pretty dry. Oh. That's very dry. But you can't argue it is toasted. So there you have it, the 100% legitimate bicycle toaster challenge. It is possible to make toast using a bicycle. As long as you're patient and don't mind it being a little bit crunchy. But that's all for today. Until next time, thank you for watching.